Welcome to the midweek edition of the King Mo Show. Today we are going to talk about a treat that I discovered while traveling. Um, on the airlines, you know, they'll give you a little snack and coach because that's pretty much how I always fly. And at some point in time, one of the airlines, it was probably Delta, they provided Biscoff cookies. Um, it's originated in Belgium in the 1930s or ish. And it was amazing. I would look forward to traveling just so I can have that little package of two cookies sitting in coach cramped all together. In fact, uh, back in 2016, I made this little meme. That's how much I like these cookies. It was like, it was the high point of my trip. So the other day, a friend sent me a photo saying that they now have Biscoff cookies, but like an Oreo with cream in the center. And I was super excited. I um, saw that it was at Target. So I looked it up in the Target app and they said the local store. And I looked it up there and it appeared that they had it. After work, I rushed there, looked all through the store, then I re-looked at the app again, and they didn't have it at the store. It just appeared that they have it at the store. So I was crushed. Um, and then I let a couple people know, and they said, hey, there's another major store that I generally refuse to go to. I won't mention their name, but I just try to avoid it. And they said that they have it there. So I, I tried looking around at all these other stores, trying to find how I can get these Biscoff sandwich cream cookies. And it came down to, I was going to have to go to the store that I didn't want to go to. I went online and I looked to find out which stores would have it. And I found one by where I work that said that they have it. And they also had all these other different variations on it. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to go do it. So got up early, went to the store before work, and they really didn't have all the stuff that they had. But they did have the Biscoff cream cookies. So it's a Biscoff with Biscoff butter, or I think that's what they call it, in the inside. But they were also supposed to have vanilla there too. So at least I got this. Um, and then... <laughs> As I was, you know, went to the self-serve checkout, as I'm leaving, the attendant there, I'm 90% sure said, have a decent day. Have a decent day? Like, eh, don't have a good day, don't have a great day, awesome day. I mean, I've, I've been told a lot of things as I've left stores, but a decent day, that was kind of like soul crushing. So I ended up only getting these, and I was told to have a decent day, and it was probably a little bit below decent day at work for that. But I was still obsessed. I wanted to try to get the other variations because they had this with uh, vanilla cream also. So I went online and said, okay, I'm going to order the vanilla cream ones. So I ordered the vanilla cream online. And then I also ordered what I thought were Biscoff covered in Belgium chocolate, dark and milk chocolate. So I can have that complete set of everything and I can try them all. So I placed my order online. I got to the store to pick it up and they were out of the vanilla ones. So they substituted it with more of these ones. Anyways, so I wanted to try all these. Well, this one I know exactly what it tastes like, but I wanted to show you them so I could get them open. I have to take a break to get scissors. Oh, it's a tragedy. I broke the first one, but I will show you. That's what it looks like. Um, I'm trying to see what do they, do they even say what it is? Um, it's a tasteful little cookie. That's what they say it is. I believe it was Delta Airlines that they actually had the Delta look. Oh, again, 
the strength I have just crushing these things. Um, had the Delta logo on them, but it's, I don't even know how to describe this cookie. Crunchy, sweet, a little bit of a caramel flavor to it. Really good. So now we're gonna try what caused me to go out and spend a ton of money and effort trying to locate it. Doesn't look like there's that much cream in the center, but we're gonna give it a try. That's really good. So like, think of it as like a peanut butter type filling, but sweeter. There's not that much cream in the center. But that's definitely good. I wish I had the vanilla cream ones. I think I might like that a little bit better. Kind of balancing everything out. I thought these were going to be covered in um, just like one of these cookies covered in chocolate. But I think what it actually is, as I open up the golden packaging, is that it's filled with the cookie butter. We've got a dark chocolate one. Cracked open. So there you can see, yep, it's the cookie butter. I don't know if it also has chunks of it in there, but I'm gonna try this smaller piece. Did I open the right one? No, I did the milk chocolate first. Okay, very tasty. Uh, the milk chocolate is good chocolate. It's not a cheap waxy type thing. It's a really good chocolate. And then in the center here, there are like little bits of the, uh, the, uh, the, the Biscoff in there too. So that's really good. And just to continue on, we're going to go for the dark chocolate. All right. Break this one open. So, milk chocolate, dark chocolate. It's good. Um, again, the chocolate's phenomenal on this thing. I'm not sure that I'm a big fan of dark chocolate with other flavors wrapped into it. I would go for the milk chocolate and it's just a really well balanced piece there. Dark chocolate is good. I love dark chocolate by itself. Um, could do a whole episode on how I learned to love that when I really didn't like to. But for now, I think I'm just going to go back to my basic cookie. Espresso in my King Mo cup made by Fireside Pottery and enjoy. Have a great day. Like this, share this, go out and try this. Um, and who knows, maybe I'll bring one of the extra packages that I received of that because of the substitutions into work and I'll share with people or if you live by, knock on the door and I'll give you one. Have a great day. Thanks.